Hi, Joanna. This is Dan from New Jersey Dog Training Center. It's Joanna um, and Juno. So, uh, welcome to New Jersey Dog Training Center. Thank you for uh, trusting us with your dog and helping you get your dog to be better. Um, why did you look us up for training? Um, well, I was noticing that Juno was being a little insistent for attention. He was kind of doing some nuisance barking and jumping up to bite when he wanted people to play. And I was feeling a little bit concerned for his safety and other people's safety because I bring him to work with me and just it was kind of annoying and I wanted to give him a good foundation and more structure and I felt a little out of my league so I just felt like I needed some guidance on how to do that for him. Great, great. Um, so tell us about the process of hiring New Jersey Dog Training Center. Um, well, I did a Google search of dog trainers near me and I actually I had found like a different dog trainer that I was gonna go to and they had ended up like rescheduling on me three times and so I was like, okay, I don't want to go through them anymore. And then I found you guys um, and you had like great ratings and everything so I filled out the Google form and you called me like 10 minutes after and um, I thought it was really cool that you had all the different resources for all your clients and you seem to really care about everyone and so I felt like it was a great community not only just like you know what you're talking about so that was definitely good um, and so yeah so you're talking about also our Facebook group page with all our clients that are connected yeah and where we activate like different events with our group classes that we will have during the summer and warm weather um, mm -hmm. that you guys can get together with. Um, we've got a lot of videos and uh, reading material there on anything that you're having troubles with, so you can immediately find that, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, tell us about your dog. What's his name, uh, age, you know, where you got him? Mm -hmm. got yeah, it. so Juno is a French Bulldog. He's one years old. He's like one year old and like three months. Um, I got him from a breeder in Monticello, New York. Um, I really love her. She's great. I'm still in touch with her. She always checks up on him and how he's doing. Um, yeah. Great. <laughs> great. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Uh, what were some of the bad behaviors Juno was showing that you didn't like? Um, so yeah, the nuisance barking, the the biting for attention when he was like super hyper um he tugged on his leash he would run out the door anytime i opened the door um he like had a habit of chewing on chairs sometimes or like chewing on cardboard boxes um things like that okay do you have any of those problems now after training no not really at all not that i've given him like more structure and things he's got more rules um he listens better so pretty much like my main two concerns were the barking in my face and the biting and he has not done them since the first session so and how many sessions did you have three so so three sessions what were the sessions like um, so there were three sessions, two hours each, but, um, each, it, like they were two hours each, but actually it, it ended up being, I was here for more like, two, like two and a half hours, sometimes more like you took, um, extra time each time to go over things. If I had any extra questions or even if you wanted to show me extra stuff, um, that I could work on. So that was very helpful. Um, and we would just go over like different basic foundation things or different ways that I can add more structure to Juno's every day um, and basic just fundamentals of things I should be doing with him to um, help him. So this is your third session mm -hmm. out of a three session uh, training program, mm -hmm. which was once a week for two hours each session, Right. which is called our basic foundation program. Um, total of six hours of training. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yes, uh, you got a little extra time here and there when we thought it was necessary. Um, we try to do a little bit extra when we can. Um, but as you can see, Jeremy is passed out sleeping now. Um, you know, and it, it's not that we want to tire him out, but we want to balance his body out mentally and physically so he can have a comfortable and then joyful life and thrive off the structure that we provide them. Mm-hmm. We don't want them to just, just survive and live, but we want them to have a good life and enjoy it. And as each session we do with our clients, we also can do follow-up sessions with training. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, one-hour sessions after your program is completed mm-hmm. to really fine-tune each thing that you guys are doing to get you really on point. Mm-hmm. Um, that this dog could soon to be off-leash trained. Mm-hmm. And have that ability to want to listen to you at a distance mm-hmm. um, because you built that respectful relationship. And a lot of people are you know curious on the tools and methods we use. So yes, uh, Juno is wearing a Herm Springer prong collar, mm-hmm. uh, the smallest one they make on Herm Springer, which is a 2.25 millimeter prong collar with a buckle system that buckles around the dog's neck. Why? Because the dogs with small necks and stuff like that, um, they have could possibly have a, a tricky issue. With other leashes and harnesses, you could do a lot of damage to your dog's throat or the body structure and get a lot of arthritis in their legs and joints pulling on a harness. But with you proper training, the prong collar does a great, uh, great tool to give you better skills and help the dog learn quickly um, and not overwhelming if you use the tool properly. Mm-hmm. Um, but thank you very much for your time. Um, if you have anything else, please feel free to uh, let us know. And uh, we, we would like that uh, you guys trusted us with building up a good relationship with us and your dog to help you uh, with all your needs. And we thank you for your business.